A few months ago, we made stretchy concrete by cutting it into a spiral with our water jet. You might call it a concrete slinky, but it wasn't as good as we had hoped. We've done some with tile and glass that are much more successful and we want to see the same stretchiness. So now it's time to test out some new methods to see if we can make it even more stretchy. In quarter number one, we have our reigning champion, the wire mesh. In quarter number two, we have double crisscross applesauce fiberglass. Number three is two sheets of fiberglass. And number four is the Fiesta fiber mix. This time we made sure to get the sand topping mix, mezcla de arena para acabados. It'll be better because it doesn't have any rocks in it. This is basically just cement. And last time we ran into trouble with it breaking along the spots where the rocks were because it was weaker right there. Then I had to battle trying to only add the recommended amount of water, but inevitably I ended up adding more water to keep my sanity. This is how much they say to add. I don't know what's going on over at Quick Creek, but you can't tell me this is going to turn into anything other than the exact same powder mix I started with. No way. I have now added a lot more than I should have, and we're gonna see what happens. That's looking a little more like concrete. You know, I didn't mean to make this a slow-mo, but now you and I get to sit here and enjoy this. Oh, yeah. Ah. Unlike the fiber in my stools, the fiber in this mix made it a lot harder to flatten out. Well, I added a lot more water on these three, so we're gonna see what those turn out like. So here's where we're gonna cut, but first we're gonna hit it with a drill bit so it doesn't blow up like last time. Now, before any of you go commenting, I didn't let it cure long enough. It cured for a week, which should be good enough according to this guy. It also cured for a week in the last video, so I don't know what you guys are smoking. Ew, it's bubbling. All right, now we have to figure out how to get it off the wooden spiral underneath. It is extremely brittle. You can see it has some elasticity but like trying to lift anything up and it breaks very easily. Huh. It's got, the wire mesh is definitely helping keeping it together, but the concrete on the outside is still just super brittle. Huh. Come here. Huh. Yeah, this, that, that just breaks it so quickly. Would you look at that? Well, you win some, you lose some. Or in our case, you lose most. Well, that was much worse than the one we did last time and it was, essentially the same thing. My running theory is it's a little thinner this way and the spiral was a little thinner as well, so that might be why. But to stay consistent, we're gonna do the same thing on the other three and see what those results give us. Uh-oh, we've already got some breakage here and that's the least important part, so that's okay. I didn't mean it, middle part, that was a joke. What would I do without the middle part? Oh, it's normal cement. That's slightly more brake resistant. Okay, this one has the strips of fiberglass. Holding together, all right. Oh, the fibers were a failure. Yeah. All right, didn't really have high hopes for that one because the uh, fibers were pretty inconsistent and I can break it in a lot of places and not even run into a strand. There we go. So let's try the one with the consistentness. Not, yes. Not the consistency, the consistentness. Of the consistors. Yes. Then I was on my own, so I had to figure out a way to get it out without breaking. Ah. Water's actually super hot. Super hot. Ah. If you're unaware, it comes out of the nozzle about at boiling. So if you're running it for a while, the water gets really hot. <laughs> ah. I need a stick. I'll hold this down with my leg. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Eh? 
Huh? Yeah, wee. Guess I don't need to have my leg on that anymore. Okay, yep. Ah, this is me from the future remembering to say that this is the one with the cross weave pattern. I have to say it's looking pretty nice. It's not flexing like at all, which is strange. I wonder why. Looks like the depth was rather inconsistent, so that's unfortunate, but you can't run them all. The stick I've been using, I just realized, still has the wrist from the ballistics hand in it. You ever tried to keep a piece of concrete from breaking? You ever, you ever seen, seen a, seen grown, a grown man, man naked? naked? Look at all the steam coming out. Ooh, look at this. Ooh now you see me. Now you still see me. Oh, ah, uh, oh. This is a speaker. <laughs> Are you seeing this? I'm hoping this is in frame. I need a camera, man. All right, well, our results are that none are actually better than the first one we did. Ah, now I have to sweep that up. Compressor! If you missed the original video, we did this with concrete, click here to see that. If you wanna see us do it with tile and it was really successful, click here.